Louis Tomlinson had been encouraged to show his emotions in a track dedicated to his mom Johanna Deacon who died after a battle with leukemia. His single, Two of Us, was released in 2019, and later featured on his debut album, Walls, came three years after Johanna's tragic death. From his early days on The X Factor to touring the globe with One Direction, his beloved mom was never too far away from the hitmaker. Johanna, who was a favorite amongst Louis fans treated in London before being transferred to the Royal Hallamshire Hospital in Sheffield, South York's, close to her home in Doncaster. She died just eight months after her diagnosis after several transfusions and different treatments failed to work. The mom of seven's death sent shockwaves across Louis fan base, with the Doncaster-born star paying tribute to her just days later during his debut X Factor performance as a solo artist. Bryn Christopher who helped try two of us alongside Louis has opened up about the process after Tomlinson previously explained he had been wanting to write the track for a while. Speaking to the Mirror, Birmingham-born Bryn said, I was in with Andrew Jackson and Duck Blackwell, two of my collaborators, Louis wasn't there, my manager had a meeting with his management and they said Louis is looking for songs. The brief was like Oasis and I was like I don't think he should do Oasis so let's give him a pop ballad. Bryn explained that the trio didn't know much about Louis but were aware of Johanna's death and decided to channel that into the song. It was a little bit weird, we don't know him, we don't know what he went through, he said before adding but we did it and we're bringing our own elements, we've all lost people so we were putting our own words into them. We sent it to his team and he was like oh my god, I've been waiting to write this song but I couldn't, I heard that had been encouraged to write a song about my mom but I couldn't had heard bits and was like this is it. This is what I was feeling. This is all that I wanted to do. And so then he went came in and wrote a bit more like the middle eight and yeah, then he released it. But Bryn who has written for the likes of the Saturdays, the Vamps, Melanie C and Bluey is now celebrating his own success following the release of his single, Hi. Discussing the track, he said, I'm majorly excited, I haven't had a song that's been mine for so long. I've had loads of features but I've not had one where it's just mine. The musician admits that while has written hundreds of top songs, he can find it difficult when artists do not credit the writers behind the track. The track reflects on Bryn's struggle with self-acceptance with coming to terms with being gay and sees him reflect on not wanting to be gay. However, he believes that there has been a major shift in the recording industry. When I first came into the industry, I knew I had to play a kind of game to get signed, he said. He went on to add, that game was not talking about my sexuality, I didn't lie, I just didn't talk about it. During the earlier days of his career, Bryn was in a band called I See Monsters and admits that his former bandmates helped him come to terms with being comfortable with his sexuality. Prior to finding fame, aged just 16, Bryn applied to be on Pop Stars, The Rivals, the year Girls Allowed won the program. Despite impressing the judges and host Davina McCall, he found himself being sent home from the boot camp process, having auditioned in Manchester. I genuinely thought my life was over, he said. Luckily, this was just the starting point for Bryn who later went on to write for his favorite artist, Melanie C of Spice Girls fame. Discussing their time in the studio, he said, we wrote two songs and I think on the second day we wrote a song called Who I Am that ended up being the first single from her last album. We were talking about her being in the Spice Girls and how she had to be this person 24-7. The music video had all the iconic visuals. 
I didn't even hear it until it was released because she was being really careful because she didn't want any leaks, I was like I can't believe I've written this. She released her autobiography last year and named it after my song. Hi by Bryn Christopher is available to stream on all major platforms. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Thank you.